Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's good to see you again. Well, um, I see around 10 people connected. Well, we still have, we are missing more people. I hope they connect. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to start taking the attendance. So please say present or say here, okay? Alejandra Sofía Vázquez Cárcamo. Present, Miss. Thank you, Alejandra. We hear you loud and clear. <laughs> okay, we continue with Carmen Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Ana. Brian Claros. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian. Nice cup. Thank you. What color is it? Repeat, please. What color is your cup? It's white. Excellent. <laughs> okay, Carmen Leonor Trejo. Okay, she hasn't connected yet. Diego Siquina, Diego Siquina. I see your text. Pressing this. <laughs> Do you have problems with your audio, Diego? With your microphone? Yes, okay. And um, what about Giovanni? Um, Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia? Jacqueline Carolina Ávila. Jenny Valiente. Jessica Virginia. Present. Thank you, Jessica. Jimmy Flores. Present. Okay, and you're wearing a, a cup too. Yeah. Like what? Color. <laughs> what color is it? Um, it's black. It's black. Okay, perfect. Jose, no se <laughs> Jose Alejandro Valladares. Present. Thank you, Jose. Eh, Jose Osvaldo Reyes. Osvaldo Reyes. Present. Thank you, Osvaldo. Crisia Ríos. Lorena de Los Ángeles Benjiar. Present teacher. Thank you. Lorena and uh, Luis Ernesto Cibria Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Edgar, sorry, Luis Jose Guardado Galdames. Present. Thank you, Luis. Manuel Edgardo Martínez. Margarita Beatriz Mancía Vázquez. Present. Thank you, Margarita. What about Maria Jose Najar Menjiva? Present. Marlene de Jesus Ramirez? Present, teacher. Okay. Wilber Alfredo Montoya, Miguel Angel Melendez. Here, miss. Okay, be careful, Miguel. Um, Mirna Rivas? Present. Thank you, Mirna. Eh, Natalie Cristina? Hortensia Stephanie. Stephanie. Hortensia Stephanie. I see you there. La veo, pero no. Escuchamos Hortensia. Oscar Lisandro Rivera. Oscar Lisandro. No. Ok. Good. I'm going to repeat the names of some people. I see, for example, Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia, right? I don't know, Jacqueline Carolina? No yet? Alguien que um, no haya escuchado su nombre porque se estaba conectando? No, okay, ya estamos, entonces. Ready to start? Tonight's class, well, uh, let me share the screen with you. And in a moment, you will see the topics for this class. Okay. 
Yes. Have you finished the section four, guys? Ya terminaron la sección cuatro. ¿Cómo van? Let's try it. So, so. Hay que avanzar en esa plataforma. Teacher, eh, yo estuve, he estado trabajando en la, en la plataforma, pero me mandaron un mensaje que estoy, que no he trabajado, pero sí he estado, he completado todo. Ah, bueno, en, quizás unos minutos antes que termine la clase vamos a, voy a entrar a ver cómo están para chequear, ¿verdad? Ok, so, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, ok. Well, the topic, we have a lot. We have who's, the seasons, and present progressive. So today we need to work a lot. This is the class number 10, and today is Tuesday, November 15, 2022. Okay, good. So let's get started. You, we have three objectives, how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. Cómo usar los posesivos para describir la posesión de cosas. Aquí en la, per la pertenencia de las cosas. You will become familiar with the weather seasons, las estaciones del, del año. And by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. And we're going, I hope that we can have an introduction for the present progressive. And okay, let's start with the possessive pronouns. What are the possessive pronouns? Well, we know the possessive adjectives, for example, my house, your dog, his uh, children, her cat, our teacher, and their country, for example. These are possessive adjectives. But different, we have the possessive pronouns. These are mine, yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. And you can see them in the next slide. Possessive pronouns. A possessive pronoun is a pronoun that is used to indicate possession or ownership. Entonces, es un pronombre que se usa para indicar posesión o, per, o pertenencia que algo es de alguien. And we can see the examples. This pen, this pen is my pen, not your pen. Entonces, aquí en my pen estoy usando possessive adjective or possessive pronoun. My pen. Possessive adjective. Adjective. My pen, possessive adjective. Your pen, possessive adjective. Pero quiero usar pos, un, el pronoun. El pronoun de my es mine, que significa mío. Yours significa tuyo o suyo. Entonces yo digo, this pen is mine, not yours. Okay. Este lapicero es mío, no Tuyo, is mine, not yours. This is my laptop, it's mine. This is my cell phone, it's mine. Entonces aquí en la anterior, en la, en la slide anterior, este mine significa me, yours significa tuyo. His significa de él. Suyo. De ella. Suyo de él. Ours. Nuestro. Nue de nosotros. Ajá. De nosotros. Uh -huh. De nosotros. Porque indica de quién es. Y de ellos. De ellos. De ellos. Entonces, sigamos adelante. Ok, so we had the, the subject pronoun and the possessive pronoun. El de I, yo, 
mine. You, yours. He, his. She, hers. It, its. And they, theirs. Y si notan en los possessive pronouns, las S van juntas. No hay apóstrofe aquí, no se usa la apóstrofe. Eh, y podemos ver aquí el ejemplo. I want the blue shirt back. Quiero la camisa azul de regreso. It's mine. Está reclamando. ¿verdad? En otras palabras le está diciendo regresame mi camisa. I want the blue shirt back. It's mine. It's mine. Ok. Eh, let's see more examples. That is my apple. The apple is mine. These are your flowers. The flowers are yours. Jacques is his dog. The dog is his. His, de él, ¿verdad? His. That box is her present. The present is hers. El regalo es de ella. The present is hers. X. The cat is sitting on its tree. El gato está sentado en su casa de árbol. The cat is sitting on its Tree house. Y si notan, este X eh, dice que no es muy común como possessive town, pero sí, sí se utiliza también. Pero si notan, no lleva apóstrofe. Este possessive pronoun no lleva apóstrofe. Es diferente al iris y la contracción de iris, X. Pero este no lleva apóstrofe porque es el possessive pronoun. The cat is sitting on its tree house. Quizás ahorita, ay, la teacher está hablando en chino porque no entiendo mucho, pero ya vamos a hacer los ejercicios y ahí vamos a, a, a comprenderlos mejor. Our, this is our house. The house is ours. La casa es de nosotros. There and theirs. That is their house. Esta es su casa. The house is theirs. La casa es de ellos. ¿Ok? Entonces, las cosas y pronouns lo que hacen es decirnos de quién son las cosas. ¿Verdad? De quién son. ¿Quién es el dueño? ¿Quién le pertenece? Así que si usted quiere reclamar que algo es suyo, ¿cómo va a decir? It's Mine. Mine. Mine, it's mine. Ok. Sí, es sin una cosa, ¿verdad? It's mine. Pero si son unas varias cosas. They are mine. Exactly. Excellent, Jimmy. Yes, that's correct. They are mine. Ok. Whose shoes are those? They are mine. Ok, they are my shoes. Ok, very good. I like that. Okay, um, let's go. Let's continue. And we have this example. Let's complete, please. Together. We're going to do it together. I have a sister. Aquí hay possessive adjectives y possessive pronouns. Vamos a ver. I have a sister. ¿Cómo sería aquí? Her name. Ah, ok. Her name is Anya. Su nombre de ella, ¿verdad? Her name is Anya. This is Jack's book. The book is... Ah, aquí voy a usar un possessive pronoun. Para decir el libro es de él. The book is... His, the book is his. Yes, that's it. This is fun. This is Jack's book. The book is his. Okay. I have a sister. This jacket is... Her? Her. Hers. Yes. I have a sister. This jacket is hers. It's the age. 
My parents have a dog. Name is Spider. Mm -hmm. It. X. X. El nombre de él, ¿verdad? Its name is Spider-Man. <laughs> there is a funny name for the dog. Okay. This is mine. This is my book. This is my book. Don't touch it. It's my book. Don't touch it. Okay. We like our house. It's Nos gusta nuestra casa. It's ours. Exactly. Ours. They have a blue car. The car is They have a blue car. The car is theirs. Theirs. Exactly. The car is theirs. Okay. I like. They did. Okay. I like show. They did a good job. I like. Their. I like their show. They did a good job. Me gusta su show, pero de ellos, o sea que son varios los que hacen el show. I like their show. They did a good job. Ok. Is this? New house, we bought it last week. Dice, es esta nuestra nueva casa. La compramos la semana pasada. Is this? Uh -huh. Ours? Our, our, our new house, we bought it last week. Don't touch this book, it's... The same. <laughs> Don't touch this book. It's mine. it's mine. Okay, it's mine. Vamos a hacer unos ejercicios. Vamos a ver. A ver, estaban escribiendo sus respuestas, ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si podemos eh, hacer estos ejercicios. Uy, 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 espérenme, espérenme. Vamos a ver si los podemos hacer juntos para que sigamos practicando. Uh -huh. Hay otro ejercicio, de eso no exercise, just give me a moment. A ver, ¿alguien que me pueda resumir lo que hemos visto hasta ahorita? Uh -huh. Only one. So one, only one. ¿Qué hemos visto hasta ahorita entonces? The positive, possessive pronoun. Possessive pronouns, exactly. Possessive pronouns. ¿Qué los usamos para qué? Eh, 
se dice en inglés, pero indicar que algo es de alguien, no sé cómo. Yes, yes, that's correct. To indicate possession or ownership. Okay, we have this game. We have this game. You can tell me what is the correct. This is a, it has possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. But the good thing is that you can identify what is the correct option. What is the correct option? My compliment. This thing? My. My. Está hablando de ella. Por eso hay una. Her. This is her. 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 Yes, it's correct. This is her computer. This is? His. His. His car. This is his car. This is? My. Her. No, no. Her. This is? His. His 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 camera. This is his camera. This is it our um, our, oh. our planet. This is our, our planet. Our planet. Yes, it's correct. This is or. <laughs> her dog. We try with mine. Oh, so this is her. This is her dog. Yeah. Okay. This is his. His. This is his cat. Her. Her cat. Her. This. There. There. Oh. oh, this is their house, la casa de ellos. Their house. There. Aquí está tu coffee. This your yeah. coffee. Here is your coffee. This is their their car. This is here. This is his. 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 Her bike. Yes. We almost finished. This <laughs> there, there popcorn. Delicious. I love popcorn. I'm a popcorn crazy lover. <laughs> this is I love this. There. There. Yes. There. There baby cat. And this is there. Your dog. Excellent, guys. Excellent use. Perfect. <laughs> what happens? Are you sleepy? Okay. Now we have another exam. We have another exercise. It's this. Can you see it? Si lo pueden ver. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Possessive pronouns. Choose the right possessive pronoun. Mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, or theirs. I have a new book. It is mine. 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 She has a new cat. It is her. Her. Hers. The period because it already has it. They have new towels. It is there. 
We have new shoes. They are ours. 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 He has a new car. It is. He is. He is. You have a new toy. It is yours. Yours. The dog has a new bone. It is. It is. Belongs to Anna. It is. Yeah, her. Hers. This is my coat. It is mine. The chair belongs to Mary. It is hers. It is hers. Exactly. And now we check. We finish. We check the answers. And they are all correct. Excellent. Great job. Ya pueden. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, good. We continue with um, the... <laughs> Thank you, Diego, for participating. Okay, we continue with the uh, class. But now we are going to learn the question whose, whose, whose significa de quién es. Es para preguntar de quién es, whose. Y la estructura es whose, noun, and the verb to be, for example, whose pen is it? De quién es este lapicero? Whose pen is it? In singular. And in plural, you ask, whose pencils are they? De quién son esos lápices? Okay? So, whose plus the object or the noun plus the verb to be. Whose noun is it? Whose nouns plus are they? Whose pen is it? Singular, it is my pen. O también puede, puede decir es mi, it's mine. También puede ser otra forma de responder. It's mine or it is mine or it's Ernesto's. Ah, ¿cómo hago eso, teacher? Bueno, para indicar, eh, usted quiere mencionar el nombre de, el especificar de que es de una persona. Entonces usted tiene el nombre, por ejemplo aquí, Ernesto. Le agregamos el apóstrofe y la S. X Ernesto. Y aquí dice, es de Ernesto. Uh -huh. Whose pencils are they? They are my pencils. Son mis lápices. También puede responder, they are mine. Son míos. O, they are Karen's. Son de Karen. ¿Ok? Vaya, ¿qué les parece si hacemos un ejemplo de cada uno? Con algo diferente. No pen, no pencil, stop different things, please. Hagamos ejercicio, hagamos un ejemplo de cada uno, please.
Okay, whose car is it, Ana? Is it? Okay, whose uniform is it? Whose colors are they? Color pencils, me imagino. Whose book is it? Ajá, y la respuesta, whose sweater is this on my bed? Okay. Whose cell phone is it? It is his cell phone, okay. Whose t-shirt is it? It is my book, okay. Who's Alejandra? Who's 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 toothbrush? Is it? Uh -huh. Who's <laughs> who's <laughs> whose case is this in the fridge? Okay. And try to include the answer. It's Camilo's, okay. More examples. One singular and one plural. Whose computer is it? Whose perfume is it? It is her perfume. Whose black jacket is it? It is Pablo's. Okay. Okay, well, whose pants are they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More examples, please. Whose shoes are they? They are my shoes, okay. Whose cell phone is it? Whose are these candies? Whose candies are these, Natalie? Whose candies are these? Whose loves the nouns, loves the verb to be? Whose teacher is it? Whose computers are they? They are my computers. Whose pa pa pajamas are they? It's my t-shirt. Okay. Okay. In English, pajamas is with A. Pajamas. Whose apples are they? They are my apples. Luis Galdames, en la pregunta, en la pregunta, apples no lleva postos. Bueno, igual en la respuesta. Okay, whose horses are they? They are Mr. Roberts. Whose plants are they? Okay. I want to see more examples. Veamos más ejemplos. I'm sorry, that was my cat. I'm sorry for that, it was my cat. <laughs> it was so scary. Whose pies are they? They are my pies. Okay. Good. And okay, in the next slide, you will see more examples. Whose? Whose book is this? Whose car 
are you driving? Whose car are you driving? ¿Qué? ¿De quién es el carro que estás manejando? Whose car are you driving? It's the company's car. Or you can say, it's my brother's car. Or it's my wife's car. <laughs> okay, whose dog is that? It's my mom's dog. Si se fijan, ponemos el dueño, el apóstrofe y la S. Mom, apóstrofe, S. It is my mom's dog. Mm -hmm. I will send you this exercise, this link for homework. Okay, for homework, because I want to continue with the next topic. Are you ready to continue? Or do you have questions? Do you have any questions? Clear as the water or please as your chat? Claro, como la horchata, tú. <laughs> ok, Jimmy. Ay, that worries me. Yo no, teacher. Sinceramente, hoy he quedado nula. <laughs> a ver. Vamos a ver. Vamos a regresar, pues. Vaya, bueno, primero aprendimos los possessive pronouns. ¿Verdad? Que es, es para decir... Es mío, es tuyo, es de él, es de ella, es de esto, o es de ellos, ¿verdad? Aprendimos estos. It's mine, it's yours, it's his, it's hers, it's it's, it's theirs. Ahora, eso es para responder, ¿verdad? De quién es. Pero para preguntar de quién es, vamos a usar... ¿Cuál es la pregunta para de question word para preguntar de quién es? Oh. Who's? 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 Ven que se pronuncia mucho la S, ¿verdad? Who's? Y la estructura es un poquito diferente a un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque primero es who's. Luego mencionamos el objeto y luego el verbo y el subject. Whose noun is it? Perdón, whose pen is it? Whose car is it? Whose marker is it? Okay. Whose book is it? Whose keys are they? Whose keys are they? Uh -huh. Y entonces para responder, ahí vamos a usar los possessive pronouns. It is mine, it is hers, it is yours. Uh -huh. para, ¿Cómo dirían, por ejemplo, de quién es este, esta pizza? Whose pizza is it? Exactly, whose pizza is it? It's yours, María José. It's yours. Nice. Ok. Y para preguntar de quién son estas pupusas. Whose pupusas are they? Ah, don't eat them because they are eh, marlenes. They are marlenes. Voy a poner ahí en el chat. No se las coman porque son de don't eat them because they are eh, son de they are Marlenes. Son de Marlene. Marlenes. Uh -huh. Y para me, como les decía específicamente el nombre de alguien pues por ejemplo Lorena Escribo, pongo el nombre, 
Lorena apóstrofe es. Lorena. En el caso de Luis, como ya tiene una S, solo le pongo el apóstrofe. Osvaldo. Jessica. Eh, Jimmy's. ¿Pueden poner algunos ejemplos ustedes? Miguel, su nombre pueden ponerle con apóstrofe. Si su nombre ya tiene la S, solo va a poner el apóstrofe. Si su nombre no tiene S al final, como Vanessa sería Vanessa apóstrofe S. Vanessa. Ok, Majos. Paola, Lisette. Ok, Leonor. Carolina. Claudias, Oscars, Natis, <ríe> Diegos, Anas. Y luego, ahora, pongan su nombre más un objeto que les pertenezca. Por ejemplo, yo voy a poner Rocíos Students. Los estudiantes de Rocío. Rocío's Students. Marlene. Eh, you're mute. Uh -huh. En cuanto a los apellidos, si no se utiliza ese apóstol. ¿Con el apellido? Uh -huh. ¿Solo el apellido o quieren decir el nombre y el apellido? ¿Solo el apellido? Sí, sí se puede. Por ejemplo, Ramírez. Ramírez. Uh -huh. ¿Mm? Ramírez. Porque varas. De hecho, los Simpsons usan esto, ¿verdad? Los Simpsons. The Flintstones. Los picapiedras. The Flintstones. Y cuando va el nombre y el, y el apellido. Lo va a llevar en, en lo que va al final. Uh -huh. O sea, el apellido. Ok, gracias. Sofía's dress, ok. Majos pillow, <ríe> ok. Majos pillow. Ariel's play. Lorena, no sé qué quería decir con play. Vanessa's cat. Ana's pizza. Jessica's dog. Leonor's book. Ah, I like it. Eh, Nati's dog. Sí, Luis se puede de las dos formas. Se puede de las dos formas. Se puede. Luis o Luis. <ríe> Luis Carl jugar. Ah, pero tiene que ser un noun, un sustantivo, un objeto, una cosa. Por ejemplo, okay. podría ser Lorena's Game, el juego de Lorena. Lorena's oh. Game. Uh -huh. Ok. Yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, también Jimmy's Cup. Jimmy's Cup. La cachucha de Jimmy. Jimmy's Cup is brown. Vale, ahora vamos a armar la oración. Lo mismo que he escrito, pero ahora agréguele una... Eh, complete la oración con una característica. Por ejemplo, yo puse Rocío's Students, right? Rocío's... Students are funny. No, they are not funny. They are very serious. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Rocío's students are very serious. These people are serious. Okay. <laughs> so complete the sentence. Leonor's book is big. Leonor. Tiene que agregarle el verbo to be. Leonor's, be. Leonor's book is big. Jacqueline's sandals are beige. Tienen que agregarle el verbo to be. Para, uh -huh. Miren mi ejemplo. Rocío's students are very serious. Majo's pillow is big and fuchsia. Eh, Jessica's dog is black. Vanessa's cat is lazy. <laughs> okay. Sofía's dress. Dress, Sofía, es D-R. 
E S S. Sofia's dress is red. Okay, more examples. Luis pen is blue. Mm -hmm. Examples, examples. Uh, Jimmy's cap is resistant. Oh, okay, Jim. Is resistant. Anna's pizza is delicious. It's correct, Anna. Excellent. Anna's pizza is delicious. Marlene's, ah, uh, no, ahí Marlene. No, porque está, es diferente, ya, le, ya está, está usando verbo. Está ahí, usted quería decir Marlene tiene mucho trabajo, pero. No, vaya, la estructura que teníamos, ¿qué había escrito antes de Marlene? Marlene es qué? Quiero ver qué había escrito. No había escrito algo. Bueno, se me ocurre Marlene's blouse. Tiene que ser de una cosa. Marlene's blouse. ¿Verdad? Ahora, Marlene's blouse is pretty. La blusa de Marlene es bonita. Ah, Marlene's work is a lot. Marlene's work es... Ok, el, tra el trabajo de Marlene es mucho. Okay. También podríamos decir es pesado o es muy ocupado. Marlene's work eh, is busy. Marlene's work is not okay. Alejandro's t-shirt is black. Luis computers, Luis computer is yellow. Um, okay. Good. Ya ven que si pueden. Ya ven que si pueden. Yo sé que you are very intelligent and smart. Mm -hmm. Estaba intensa la clase hoy, pues. Ok, entonces vamos a proseguir. Ahora que ya me aseguré que sí. Vamos a ver un poquito de vocabulary. The seasons, the different seasons. In El Salvador, we only have two seasons. What are the two seasons in El Salvador? Invierno y verano. In English? Exactly, Diego, winter and summer. Uh -huh. Winter, invierno, summer, verano. Winter and summer. Well, in other parts of the world, like in United States, they have the four seasons. Winter, if fall, summer, and spring. Right? Summer, spring, winter, and fall. Or autumn, autumn. And here we see here the different ones. It's a spring in Brazil. It's warm. The, the weather is warm and it's very sunny. It's a spring and it's warm and it's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. Bueno, aquí dice que es verano en Corea y en Corea en verano. Lleve un poco ahí, es caliente y húmedo. Okay. It's fall in the US, es otoño. It's cool and it's cloudy and windy, similar to... Eh, El Salvador in this moment, right? A little bit cloudy and a little bit windy, right? But in the USA, it's re really cool and really windy. 
Russia, we have it's winter in Russia. Winter in Russia is very snowy. It's snowing and it's very cold. Very low temperatures, as you can see here. Very low temperatures. Temperaturas muy baja, very low temperatures. Neblina. Y como neblinoso, así con mucha neblina, es spot. Spot. Eh, ok. ¿Qué es spring? Spring y primavera. Spring y primavera. Winter. Invierno. Solo que en El Salvador no, no nieva. Solo llueve mucho. <ríe> A lot. Eh, verano, summer. En fall es otoño. También se dice, ay, perdón, se me fueron dos, tres L's. Fall or autumn. Autumn, otoño. Ok, y ahí podemos, si yo les pregunto, how's the weather today? How's the weather like? Or how's the weather like? How's the weather like? How's the weather like in this moment where you live? How's the weather like? Entonces se puede escribir, it's fresh. Está fresco. It's fresh. Or you can say it's cool. Or you can say it's windy in October. <laughs> or it's hot. Está muy caliente, it's hot. O calientito, it's warm. Si hace mucho sol, it's sunny. Si está lloviendo, it's rainy. Okay, so how's the weather like? In my house, here, where I live, it's, it's fresh. It's fresh. What about where you live? How's the weather like? It's hot, okay. You need a fan or you need air conditioner. <laughs> Where do you live, Jessica? In Santa Ana, okay. It's warm, the city of coconuts. Oh, Jacqueline, are you from Sonsonate? Yes, okay, it's warm. The city of coconuts is warm. Good, so that is the vocabulary that we have for today. What's your perfect weather? Si yo le pregunto, what's your perfect weather? Estoy usando el chat, guys. Si ¿Sí ven los mensajes en el chat, todos nos pueden ver y comentar ahí. What's your yes. perfect weather? ¿Cuál es su clima perfecto? What's your perfect weather? Oh, rainy, rainy. Okay, you can say, no, that's not my perfect weather. My perfect weather is, let me think, is windy and cool. Like in November and December, it's windy and cool. Okay. To sleep, yes, of course. <laughs> okay, your perfect weather is cool. Summer, windy and fresh, windy, okay. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. Another one, another word for like cold is chili. Okay, chili también quiere decir. <laughs> Jacqueline says my perfect weather is is winter because you can eat bread and drink chocolate. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline, Carolina. Uh, my perfect weather is snowy, Jacqueline Vanessa, but it doesn't snow in El Salvador. Have you traveled to another country? Jacqueline Vanessa, have you been in the snow? Uh, Margarita says warm. Um, Natalie says the weather I hate is hot weather. Or I hate the hot weather. Odio el clima caliente. The hot weather makes me sleepy and tired, but that's me. Mm -hmm. mm, let me look for another one. Mm -hmm. Ok, ya que Natalie dijo eso, vamos a poner the weather I hate. Okay. I hate the hot weather. Some people don't like uh, the cold weather or the cool weather. Okay. Good. Do you like uh, the rain? I don't like the rain so much. What about you? ¿Me escuchan? Ok, María José says, I don't like the rain. Ok. Well, guys, so it, we have the seasons, winter, spring, beautiful, summer, and autumn. And vocabulary associated with each season. Okay, winter, we say cold days, snow, rain. You need an umbrella. You need gloves because your hands are very cold. You need a scarf to protect. A skin is a sport that people practice in the snow. And you need to drink hot drinks. During the spring, we have warm days. We have a lot of flowers, butterflies. Eh, nests, que son los, los nidos de los pajaritos. You can see rainbows, you can do gardening, puede hacer jardinería, but you can get some allergies because of the pollen, right? And we can see some baby animals. Now, during summer, we have hot days, very hot days. We, we can go to the beach, you can go on vacation, you can go camping, you can eat ice cream, you can wear sunglasses, you need to wear sunscreen to protect your skin, and you can go to the swimming pool. During autumn, there are cool days, the leaves fall, there is wind, the harvest begin, la cosecha, okay? You need a rake to collect the leaves. Necesita un 
ay, ¿cómo se dice? El que se usa para, se me olvidó, se me olvidó, para barrer las hojas. Rastrillo. Rastrillo, ok, so that is the right. <coughs> uh, acorns, son una semillita de unos árboles, clouds, and pumpkins, las calabazas. Eh, ok, Alejandra says, how do you pronounce autumn, 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 ok, autumn, yes. Well, guys, we have the conversation, but we don't have time. But tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic, okay? The, the conversation and also the present progressive or the present continuous, okay? But what time is it? It's 9.01. <laughs> it's time to go, it's time to sleep. So people, thank you for connecting to the class. Just before you go, a ver, ¿qué aprendimos hoy? What did you learn today? I hope you learned something. Espero que hayan aprendido algo. <laughs> In this one hour class. Usted no, no se decepcione, teacher. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> okay, so see you tomorrow. Oh, okay, Brian, Brian, you want to comment? Okay. Sí, teacher, eh, mañana hay clases o el jueves. Ah, oh, yes, you're right. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, no, we don't have class tomorrow until Thursday and Friday. Jueves y viernes, okay? Thursday, okay, okay. Friday. Yes, tomorrow is sleep early. <laughs> you can go to the movies too. And we have some uh, messages. Thanks, Miss. Bye, okay. Bueno. Okay, so, alguien que quería comentar que aprendió hoy. Luis abrió su micrófono. Alejandra, okay. Luis? Okay, Alejandra and then Luis, ladies first. I learned a grammar instruction. Eh, uh, los adjetivos posesivos, adjective, no, posesivo, adjective, and pronunciation. Um, clima no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia weather, the weather ah, weather the weather ok, thank you Alejandra uh, in this class yes. we learn, we learn uh, possessive pronoun and possessive adjective and learn the weather. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, now you can rest in peace. <laughs> Good night. Goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.